I do feel like I'm getting a lot more four-player games in this time in this one than I have in the other past ones. But here we go. This is where things can get interesting, guys. Final five frenzy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So basically, what could potentially happen here? What could potentially happen is stars could become worth five coins only. If that happens. Oh, come on, happen, happen. Get it, get it. Land on that one. No. Oh, well, not this time, unfortunately, guys. I was hoping. Sometimes on a, on a blue moon, you can get stars for five coins on this map. And yes, that would mean multiples. That would mean I would be getting nine stars upcoming, which is pretty ridiculous. There's, I've get, literally gotten 20 stars in one turn on this map because of that happening. But um, unfortunately, that's not to be this time. Uh, a little disappointing. A little disappointing. But what can you do? I will take my two stars and I will take my lead. That seems like a good deal to me. So, double dice block. I'm just going to gun for it right now. I'm definitely going to get it. Definitely, definitely got that one. And uh, a little bit extra too. Hopefully, hopefully we're not landing on a, uh, a bad space down there. Because that would be tragic. But I now have seven stars. Lucky seven stars. I think I'm landing on my own space actually. I think I landed, I landed on my own space. No, I landed on Peaches, which is actually a really good thing. Coin swap hex again, and this time I get all Peaches coins. She's not going to get a star. And I'm going to go all the way back up to 20 coins, which actually puts me in a very good spot. I'm about the same place as Toad is. And I... What the heck is going on? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Game! Why did you do this? B but why? But why? This game, that is, it's taken two stars for me so far. The good news is now Toad's in first, though. So anyone who lands on a friend space is going to instantly get, uh, is going to be picking Toad instead of me. And, and I'm okay, I'm okay with this, because, uh, why are they buying a star pipe? That doesn't make any sense on this board. You don't want to buy a star pipe unless it's the end of the game. It's a waste of coins. You're not in any race. It's not a race to get up there. Star Pipe is a noob trap. Then again, I guess he was just like, well, I'm losing 10 coins anyway. I may as well buy some good stuff. But I, I really disagree with his decision to do that. I really, truly do. Okay, a battle game for pretty much everyone's coins. This is kind of a big deal, actually. Because whoever gets this is going to be getting a lot. Globe Gunners? Not chips and dips again! We already had one luck based battle game, why do we have to have two? Why do we have to have two? No! No! This is unacceptable! This is unacceptable! This is unacceptable! I'm gonna go down there, because it seemed to be good last time, so it's gonna be horrible this time. Give me the five. I, I really wanna win this one. I okay, as long as Toad doesn't win it, I'm okay. Toad, if you get a five in this minigame, I swear to goodness, I will make you eat your pastrami. Well, actually, this turn, no one really got anything good this round. This round was kind of a wash. So, could still be anyone's game at this point. So whoever gets the 10, as usual, is the, the big threat. I'm going to go here. I feel, I feel like going there. I feel like good things coming from this one. And I really could use the 10 if Peach isn't going to win this one. So, 10! Okay, you know, that's not, that's not horrible as long as Toad. Toad, please don't get the 10. Okay, me and Toad are tied. Still okay with this. Still okay with this. While well, Luigi's just like... Screw this game. Screw this game. Okay, this is for all the marbles. I feel this one. This one right there. I'm feeling it. Okay, I need to get the 10 to win. And I got the 1! Darn. Oh, but he got the Bowser! Oh, that's excellent! So now Waluigi, Waluigi is tied with me, which is not really ideal. But at the same time, Toad got last place, and you know what? I don't necessarily care if Peach gets a shit ton of coins. I'm more concerned with Toad not having any. That that makes me happy. Because Toad is my biggest competition, as we know. Although this does put me in first place. I do recognize that now I'm suddenly in first place, and my stars are now up for grabs, which is maybe perhaps not the best situation to be in, because that will mean... Lots and lots of dual mini games, and also Peach is going to get two stars, which makes her a threat now. Like she's gonna be pretty much caught up with us. So 
I suppose I didn't think of that. She's probably gonna use your star pipe right now. Yep. Figured. Um, kind of a waste, but you know, that's her prerogative. Two stars, which gives her enough to potentially win if she gets certain, uh, if she gets certain bonus stars at the end, she could still potentially win. I got a star, though. I got a star. I've not ever, I, I've, you rarely see that. Also, she's going to give us, she's going to give us 10 coins each player. She has five coins. We're going to be getting one coin each. Oh, no. Oh, that's a game changer. That's a game changer. And that is also a game changer. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I still keep thinking I'm Toad, which is really horrible because I that really shouldn't be. I'm going to place my, my hex here because I feel like it. And I'm gonna head. All right. Do I want to head to the left or do I want to head to the right? Or do I? Wanna, I mean, do I want to head up or do I want to head to the right? As much as I want to head to the right again and show off the coin thing, if I can, it really seems like a better idea to go to the right and uh, or to go up potentially and get a twice block to ensure I can make it to the end before that happens, because I might want to try to rush and get another star if I can. So with that in mind, I'm taking the up path to get twice block. Really is the better option. Really, I mean, it's just a get coins by... I forget if it's one of those get sh shaking, or I forget exactly what you have to do to get coins. But basically, that's a having space where you get coins. That's all you really need to know. What are we playing today? Plush Crush again. This time, I am on the... Three, team of three. I am on the team of three, so you use your stylus to drag and drop, and this time I'm going to do it right and not fail at life. So, what you want to do is basically corner the computer, uh, sort of w try to wall her in somewhere like this. Okay, well now she can escape through here. Get you! Eat Goomba! <laughs> yeah, basically you want, to, you want to try to basically get her into a cornered situation like that, where there's really only one way out, and then just take advantage of that situation and just corner them and crush them. I love Plush Crush. I think it's actually a really, really fun game. Uh, probably stacked in the three people's side. Take his star pipe. Watch, it's gonna be a star pipe. Ready? No, it's gonna be the halfway dice block. You got ripped off. I was hoping it'd be another snag bag, because then we have a bag and a bag, and it'd be bagception, and that would have been amazing, but no. But alas, the bagception was not to be. There was to be no bad exception today. I just realized if it weren't for that one star hex, I we would, I, Peach would actually be uh, have six stars as well. Then again, if I didn't lose two stars, I'd be com in a commanding lead game. So rude. So rude. So rude. Anyway, we're going to the item shop. Going to grab. Oh hey, that cool item's there, but there's really no reason to get it. And I've already shown that off before. Star pipe is there, and it, like I know I've been bashing the star pipe all game, but it's still kind of tempting. But I'm going to say no because kids say no to star pipes on the snap at least. Because I feel like I can make it there in two turns. Oh, that is tricky. I might not be able to. Toad, if Toad gets to the star, that could be problematic. That actually would be kind of troublesome. I really need to get a star. I really need to get one of these stars. Maybe I should have gone for the star pipe. Maybe I might... Uh, that, uh, that could have been a bad decision. Could have just made a terrible mistake. Could have made a terrible mistake, guys. Surprisingly no dual minigames, though, I just noticed. Surprisingly no dual minigames. And Peach is now a threat! Excellent. We have a three-way tie at six. It's six, six, six. It's the Mario Party game of the devil. And then we have three and three, which also equals six. Look at that proof. Like I said, now he has zero. And we're also all against him, which is kind of funny. Um, rotisserie rampage, because we haven't done that one before. Excellent. I don't think we've done this one before. Basically, you're on a giant hunk of meat. Don't fall off. You can move up and down. That's really really all it is. They rotate the meat, and I think you actually do that with the stylus again, and you essentially just try to stay on the meat. It's really, that's really all it is, is just trying to just not fall off. Although the perspective you give you is kind of weird, because like, 
it, it, you can't really see how far back you can go. So it's, it's kind of a weird perspective, and Toad just sort of jumped off into the fire, and I jumped off into the fire because I was too busy laughing at Toad who jumped off into the fire. Okay, Peach, how about you uh, stay on the meat? I could make so many sexist, just sexual jokes right now, but I'm going to choose not to because she's an idiot and she didn't. There's also a giant shy guy there who's just like, I want some meat, I want some meat, I want some meat, I want some meat, and yeah, that's what he did. So, hooray for that. I'm pretty sure Waluigi is going to have the uh, the minigame star. He's going to steal it from me, which kind of makes me sad, but, you know, what can you do? All right, I need to get some pretty high rolls here if I want to get a chance of getting the star. That would be excellent. Oh, so there we go. See, she some someone landed on it. I'm glad for that. Um, I'm not gonna use it now though. On the off chance I can land on a rope and get a shortcut. So one or a seven would be great right now. And instead, I land on a barrel. Shit. Sh shoot. Not good. So I need to win this mini game and then get a godly twice block roll in order to have a chance of getting a star this time. Not necessarily good. Also, Toad's now in the lead. Hopefully, Toad will bypass the star now and not land on a space that will sh Okay, it's a dual space. That's fine. He doesn't get coins. Oh, this is way too close for comfort. And this is gonna. Oh, this is. This is a incredibly important. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is for all the marbles. <laughs> Don't be get the let out. Do not be get the let out. Okay. 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 Oh god, this is so much pressure. <laughs> there is so much pressure riding this mini game right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in the middle. No. I want the middle one, not you, Toad. Too bad. Gotta focus. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I landed on it! I landed on it! Yes! 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 Oh, that is a lifesaver. That is a lifesaver. Although, kind of anticlimactic, because I was looking forward to how close the game was, and that kind of just really ruins it, in a sense. It's, it's kind of unfortunate how much sway on the game dual minigames have. Because really, like, that that game literally just decided the winner, and that's just kind of silly. Kind of, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but we got a new game, at least. Uh, Sweet Sleuth. That's actually pretty cool. Basically, Mr. Shy Guy, he, he's done eating his meat, he wants some dessert. So, we have to give him candy. So he's got to look for a certain type of candy, you, you drag a candy over to him, is pretty much what you do. So, um, the thing is, many candies look really similar, so it's really hard to tell which one he wants. Because, like, it can't be any blue one, it has to be the correct blue one that he wants. So he wants one of these candies, and no, that's wrong. I'm wrong. This is this candy he wants. Ah, there's okay, now he wants this one. Okay, good. And now he wants... I don't, that one doesn't exist! That one's not on here! Now it is. That, that candy did not exist for a while. This one, no, give me, give me. No, I, I want to pick up this one. There we go. Sometimes this game goes really well. Sometimes it's freaking horrible. This one. Yeah, I'm not winning this one. I, I did pretty bad on that one. Waluigi, Waluigi wins again. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, the one thing I'm sad, my one lament is that I won the minigame star on the lost footage. And now I'm going to be 0 for 3 for winning the minigame star again, and, and that makes me kind of sad. Also, it means I cannot get a star in this turn, which is also kind of tragic. But, neither can Toad, neither can Peach, and suddenly this game got interesting again. Well, okay, it's hopefully not going to be for 2 stars, just be for 1 maybe? Okay, this game could actually be important. This is going to determine whether or not I have a commanding lead, or if me and Peach are tied. And we're gonna play Dust Buddies, which is a fun game. I'm pretty sure we've played this one before, where you just sort of uh, you keep surviving. I'm pretty good at this game, so maybe I can pull this off. I win the games that matter, it seems. I seem I have a good record for dual mini games, at least. Um, but yeah, basically just gonna sort of get in Peach's way here, and uh, hopefully get her to suffer and die. 
Go in the go in the vacuum, Peach. Go in the vacuum. Go in the, oh shit, I tried to Yes, she tripped. She tripped. Fall. Fall, Peach. Fall in the vacuum. Fall in the vacuum. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. She is surviving a lot longer than I thought, and that does not make me happy. I guess we're both going to live! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that ball was unexpected. <laughs> there was a dramatic finish at the end of that round. Things went a bit unexpected for Peach. Well, see, uh, this is one of the qualms I have in this game. Those dual mini games literally decided the game in my favor. Which, you know, you could argue maybe I deserved it because, like, I had so much bad luck throughout the game. But still. But still, oh. Okay. Here you go, Peach. Some more compensation for me stealing your stars. Have all of my coins. I'm just gonna end this game with zero coins. Actually, that's not true. There's gonna be three coins under here, so I will not be ending it at three, three coins. I'll probably end it at 13 again. But uh, unless like, something crazy happens with like a dual mini game that like lowers me back down several stars, which actually I think Toad is going to land on a dual mini game space. No, no, he's not. That's not true. In fact, he's going to give me coins. Give me your money. And now I have 20 coins again. Okay. Cool. Too bad it's the end of the game, so I'm not going to get any more stars than that. Not that I really had a chance to get a star to begin with. Nothing I would have done would have changed getting an extra star. So really, it's up to Waluigi to land on the dual minigame space and just ruin everything. Except that's not going to happen, so he's actually just going to end the game with a ton of coins, which I'm really sad I didn't get to show off those coins, getting out how you get those coins, but that's how it goes, I guess. I would like to win this one. I would like to win this one, but it's hangar management, and we've gotten this game a lot. I don't think we've gotten toppling Terry yet. No, actually, yeah, I think we have. Never mind. Or maybe we did, and it was in the, the last... I don't know. I don't know. I'm a, I, I, to be honest, I am a little bummed. I am a little bummed at how much the dual mini games decide this, and we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be curious to see how, if the dual mini games never occurred, how that's gonna end up changing things. Because I am actually really curious about this. I'm gonna miss that middle one again because I always miss that middle one. Like I always consistently miss this this middle one here. See, I thought it was on the left, and then Toad was going to the right, and I was like, Toad, what are you doing, sir? You appear to be going in a direction that is not the direction I like. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I did pretty terrible in that game. Well, wasn't the best in terms of mini games. But this was a pretty interesting board. You guys can see what it goes like. Uh, I have unfortunately have a confirmed win, but I, I want to see if the dual mini games did not matter, would I have won? That is going to be the interesting question. Because I think, okay, Green Star minigame, Friendship Star. So, uh, the Green Star is going to probably not go to me. It's going to go to Waluigi. That's kind of inconsequential, because it was between me, if me, Toad, and Peach all had six stars at this point, which was something that could have happened. Who would have won? I think this is actually going to go to Waluigi as, again as well. Yep, it is, so... Both those are pretty inconsequential. I do not think Wa Waluigi... Will, actually, I don't know. Would he have pot potentially won the whole thing if that didn't happen? I'm pretty sure this is going to go to me. I think this is going to go to me. Okay, so I did get that star. So, even if the dual game games didn't matter, the friendship star would have given me a decisive victory. Interesting. So I guess in the end, it didn't matter. Waluigi, with those two stars, actually makes it to second place, though. Talk about comeback of the century. Isn't Toad in last? Toad ended up in last. Look at that. That's actually pretty exciting. While Luigi, okay, so if we had all had six, if we had all had six instead, I would have ended it with seven. Peach would have actually had the leading coins at the end there, which could have been horribly tragic. That could have been an upset right there. Um, but I would have won by one star. So the dual mini games actually didn't matter in the end. I'm, I'm a bit glad for that. Um, I would have lost. Okay, so let's, let's see which ones I will. I would have lost the item star. I lost the green star. I would have lost the hex one. Actually, while Lu while Luigi had a commanding lead on every single star except the friendship star, that's the only one I beat him on. That's actually kind of interesting. In terms of mini games, yeah, plush crush actually was a deciding factor because if I had won that, me and him would have been tied at least. So kind of tragic that I just didn't realize who it was for a moment there. But look at that, look how even it was, and then dual mini games. Just dual mini games happened. Dual mini games. Kind of a bit silly. Anyway, just look at the coins. 
Look at the coin gaps in this one. That's so amazing. While Luigi just shot up at the end there at that last bit, but like I had that sit incline and zoo, just all those declines and inclines. It's, I, it's interesting to me. Okay, I'm a bit crazy. But 10 stars, 20 coins. It's 1020. It's kind of funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it's funny. Just believe me. It, it, it's funny. It really is funny. But yeah, uh, get a bunch of Mario Party points. Not really going to uh, give us anything. Now. I don't know if we're gonna get an item. No, we're just we're, gonna, we're just gonna go back. I pretty much earned, I think, all the normal items for that board at least. So yeah, that's it for Mario Party, guys. For uh, this round of Mario Party DS, definitely an interesting round. Things could have gotten really close at the end there, um, but in the end, I prevailed. And that's all that matters. Join me next time when we take on the next board, and by gosh golly, I want to win a minigame star. I will do that at some point in this freaking LP. So yeah, this is Legacy Index, signing out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.